Hello, my sweet friends. This is Tracy. Welcome to another spring craft DIY. I am sharing three farmhouse spring DIYs with you today, and I hope that you are inspired to recreate them too. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you are new, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started and let me share my farmhouse spring DIYs. My next project is this DIY farmhouse decor using a dollar store bunny. Now this little project is using one of the tinsel frames and also a package of reindeer moss. Now I found this little bunny at a Texas uh, based store called King Dollar and currently right now everything is $1.39 but I have found that they go up quite regularly anyway I guess with inflation and all that good stuff so uh, you know if you don't have a King Dollar you can check Dollar Tree 99 cent store or maybe you have a dollar store that we do not have here in my part of Texas. Anyway, what I did is I just took off all of the tinsel off of this little bunny. And then I'm going to... Um, wire him on this canvas. This is an 11 by 14 inch canvas. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of seeing that that reindeer moss was just a little bigger. Um, I just kind of wanted to see how it was going to go on there. And I am taking my paintbrush and dipping half of it in paint and the other half in water, blending on a paper towel. I'm going to go around the edges of the canvas and give it a bit of shading. I'm going to use my brown market permanent marker and just go around the edges just doing some doodling. I chose to wire my bunny on my canvas just to ensure that it didn't fall off. So I'm taking my poking tool. Um, I have it linked in the description below. I love to use it for projects like this. And I'm just figuring out where I'm going to put the wire. So I just poke holes through that canvas and then I just wire on the uh, the bunny and the wire I'm using is actually from the Dollar Tree um, it just is pliable and it goes right through there and I just flip it to the back and just make sure that it is all secure so then now I'm going to start putting on my reindeer moss I am NOT going to lie this actually was a bit of a process because this reindeer moss is very messy but I have seen other friends and creators say that it if you spray it with hairspray, um, it does seem to not be quite as messy. And if you have some tips, please leave them for me because I would love to know as well. This bunny took a full bag as well as uh, a little bit part of a second bag. So then now I'm going to put some rope around the edges of the canvas just to give it a decorative look. So I have the rope from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start at the bottom and just hot glue it all the way around. Uh, I started at the bottom underneath there because once it's hanging, it's not going to see if there's any, um, you know, separation with the rope. So I just go all the way around until I get the rope on there the way that I like it. For the hanger, I am just tying a knot in the uh, bottom of the rope and I'm going to add it to the ends in the top corners uh, on each end. I'm just going to hot glue that there or, you know, Hot glue worked good for me, but if you want to use a different glue that may be a little bit more secure, uh, you are more than welcome to do that. But hot glue is working for me with these little hangers. And I just tie a knot just to give it, uh, you know, some substance for the glue to stick to. And then for the middle of the little rabbit, I just tied a simple two loop bow and I knotted the ends because sometimes that jute does fray and this just helps it from fraying.
My next project is these little DIY farmhouse bunny decorations. They're just so cute. Now I was inspired by a fellow YouTuber. I will link to her video below so that I give credit to the uh, inspiration where I got it because I am all about community over competition. It is a big enough world for all of us creators and we need to, it is the right thing to do to give credit for the inspiration so what i used is some white i mean no some plaster chalk paint as well as the mineral chalk paint some little bunnies from the dollar tree some terracotta pots now to get the little bunny faces off of those little rabbits those little bunnies i just used some fingernail polish remover and a cotton ball and it removed those little faces so that i could uh, put some chalk paint on them the little terracotta pots are also from the Dollar Tree. So I am giving them two coats of the Waverly chalk paint going around the whole pot. And then I'll paint about half of an inch down in between uh, inside of the pot, just so that if you were to, you know, see some of that pot that you couldn't see it. This is what helped me uh, when it was time to paint my little bunnies. I took a clothespin and clipped it on one of the ears and then painted around the bunny. I set the clothespin in a tin can and let them dry. So that uh, worked pretty good for me uh, to get these little cute bunnies painted. I wanted some de-stressing for my little farmhouse bunnies and so I'm using this mineral chalk paint and I'm just going to use my finger to give it a bit of distressing. Some of the pots uh, ended up with more, some with less, and I like that only because I didn't want them all to be the same. And just so I just went around and just, you know, gave it some distressing, and um, I love the way that it turned out. You could use a brush, you could use a sponge, but I chose to use my little finger. Okay, so then now I'm going to glue the little bunnies into the pot. So I just took my hot glue, and then now I have some reindeer moss and just put that in there and then I'm going to make kind of a little hole or a little nest so that my little bunny can sit right in there. I just added some jute, just wrapped it around the pot a few times and made a two loop bow. And I love the way that these little farmhouse bunnies turned out. They're so simple and so cute and just really decorate my three tiered tray for the season. My next project is the ever so popular butter dish little florals. Now this is not my idea. I don't know who the originator of this idea is, but you are genius, let me tell you, because these are all over the Facebook groups on Instagram, you can find them on Pinterest, and it is so fun. If you have not seen these yet, it's amazing what we can do with Dollar Tree items just like this. So what I'm using is one of the butter dishes, as well as two packages of the salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree, some floral, some fabric, some chalk paint, some jute, some ribbon. And so I'm gonna show you my spin on this butter dish floral. So let's get started. I gave everything three coats of the chalk paint. Now the chalk paint, uh, does very well on plastic and so that's why I like to use it and once that was all dry I'm going to go back and do some dry brushing using the mineral chalk paint I just take my little stencil brush and um, you know just dip it into the paint and then just go around each of the objects and dry brush them now what I first decided 
uh, I thought I was going to use the bottoms of the, um, well, I guess the top of the salt and pepper shakers um, as the little stand. But then as I was doing this project, I decided to use some little wooden balls. Now I had these on hand and I just painted them as well with the chalk paint and then I'm gonna distress them. And those are what I'm gonna use to make my little stand for my little arrangement here. This is the bottom of the butter dish and I just hot glue the wooden balls that I painted that is going to be my stand. I think it just gives it a little decorative look. So I just hot glue them there in the corners so that they uh, stand up. Then now I am taking some tumbling tower blocks. Now I had these blocks uh, for a previous project uh, or actually a project of uh, last fall. I never used so I'm going to use these to make these little jars stand up a little more. So I thought that that would give me some high so I just hot glued those tumbling tower blocks in there and I'm not worried about the black because it's what when I put all my stuff in there it's going to cover it up anyway I didn't want to take the time to repaint them and so then now I am just hot gluing the um, little butter dish to the stand this trim was sent to me by a viewer, follower, and sweet friend, Miss Jessica. She sent it to me last Christmas and she said she found some, wanted to see how I would incorporate it. And this is what I'm gonna do with some of it. I just love this. It just has little wooden beads on it and it has the jute ribbon. It's just so beautiful. When I opened it and I saw it, I went, oh my goodness, I am going to have to find something special to do with this. Anyway, so she found it at Hobby lobby um her note said she found it on clearance so maybe if you fall in love with it just like i did you can find some too anyway so then i'm just hot gluing the um trim all the way around this little butter dish To decorate the top of my jars, I like to use fabric. And I just have this gingham fabric here that I just ripped off about an inch um, off of the, you know, section that I had. And the uh, when you rip it, it gives a, a ragged, jaggedy edge. And then if there's any strings, I just cut those off. Then also I'm using some jewelry cording. I just make a two loop bow, tie that in the middle. And then now I'm hot gluing that to the center of uh, my little bow here. Then I'm going to take my pinking shears and cut off any of the fabric that may be a little bit too long. Next I'm going to show you this is what I want my jars to look like. They're going to have uh, you know I'm going to put some excelsior in there and then I'm decorating it with the greenery from Dollar Tree. Now I have seen this greenery also at Walmart. So if you cannot find it at the Dollar Tree, please check your Walmart florals because they uh, did have it when I was there recently. So then now I'm just going to cut off some foam and I'm just going to stick that in the jars so that I can stick in my florals and decorate them up really cute. These four jars fit nicely inside of this arrangement. I just hot glue them to the tumbling tower blocks, just putting them together, kind of like a puzzle, just to make sure that there's no gaps in between. And they fit very nicely in there. I was very happy. I just love when I'm inspired by something that I see and so many people are doing it. I love that I am able to share it with you here in my community and put my own spin on it. So, you know, it is all about community over competition. And so many of us do the same things, but it's just, you know, you put your own spin on it. So, you know, do your thing. Anyway, so then now I'm just adding some little white berries that I picked up at Walmart and this little sweet floral 
little arrangement is complete. And I love the way that it turned out. I would love to know what you think as well. And if you do it, if you recreate any of these, please share them with me over in the Country Charm Crafty community. It is my free Facebook group that I do have that you can share your creations with me, either of something that I inspired you to do, or if you want to inspire me by sharing some things that you have as well. All right, guys, I do have a special um Thing that I want to do if you leave me a comment I will be drawing one random lucky winner and sending you some happy mail I might be sending you one of these sweet little arrangements all right guys I enjoyed making it so much I want to recreate another one and I can do that just for you all right guys we will talk to you very soon thank you for your positive support all right god bless mm -hmm.